I almost made a French omelette in the middle of class in order to get a good grade on a presentation. Hi, I'm Evan Davis. I hope you add some music to your day. Add some, add some music, just add some music to All right, today we're gonna learn my secret to making uh, some of the best eggs you've ever had, scrambled, of course. Step number one, here are some secrets, okay? Low and slow, a lot of butter, cheese, okay? Bada boom, all right, low heat, right? Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. I forgot to grab utensils. I put everything else out. About a tablespoon of butter, right? Oh, this is very cold. Somebody should have left the butter out. Okay, cleaned up, uh, got some butter melting now. All right, so here's the gist of the story while this butter is melting, okay? I took a class about international business, which was uh, essentially a management course dealing on, you know, international transactions, sort of how multinational companies are run, blah, 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 not very important. The interesting thing in this class was one of our primary grades was a presentation about uh, picking a country and doing a presentation about it, you know? Talk about the businesses there, blah, 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 you know, basic figures, GDP, all that. The fun part of this project was that there was a specific grade assigned for it, X Factor, something that was very unique about your presentation. And of course, some of the easy things were like, you know, play some music for the country, speak its language, you know, give a translation, uh, talk about one of its interesting sports, maybe bring in an accessory from that sport, etc., etc. Well, of course, I wanted to do something much more unique, and I ended up picking Luxembourg because I was uh, watching the TV show Patriot off of Amazon Prime, and a lot of that is filmed in Luxembourg. And I'm thinking, okay, well, let's learn a bit about this while I'm enjoying the show. Right? Luxembourg is essentially this very small country uh, that's a mix between, you know, France and Germany. So I said, well, what if I made a French omelet? And I said, well, if I make a YouTube video, I should make a French omelet as well. So this butter's melting up very good. We're gonna start whisking some eggs in a bowl here. All right, we got three eggs, because I'm a big boy, I can eat, all right? Three eggs, very simple. Crack it, boom, in, easy. Make sure to wash your hands. You don't want your eggy stuff getting on the hands. I'm a pro chef, we're gonna put the towel on. Look at that, here we go. All right, the secret to eggs as well, you wanna whisk the absolute heck out of them, okay? You wanna have uh, weak forearms by the time you're done whisking. Honestly, you know, that's how you get it really fluffy. Homogenous. Let's go, dude. You think I could be a chef? Guy Fieri? I can dress like him. I can get some platinum blonde tips like him. But you know what? I probably won't go into very many diners, drive-ins, or docks as Guy Fieri. So that's quite a lot. Okay, my forearm's starting to hurt, so that's telling me it's good. Salt and pepper. Very simple. Okay, season. Bada boom. As well as a bada bing. This pepper shaker kind of sucks, if I'm being honest with you. It's all over my hands. That's why we have the towel. Okay, you're thinking, well, that was a lot of whisking. Keep whisking. Let's go. So I come up to my professor. I say, listen, odds are, you know, how likely would it be that I can bring a hot plate into class to make an omelet? She says, well, you know what? Go ahead, buddy. <laughs> and, uh, of course, I didn't want to go to Walmart, buy a hot plate just to do a presentation, so I ended up not doing it. I ended up learning a bit of French and German as part of the presentation. But, of course, the funny thing would have been this idea of... You know, I come in, I say, uh, you know, hey, hey, bon après-midi, class. Hey, bienvenue à ma présentation. And then I would say it again in German. Good afternoon, class, and welcome to my presentation. And then, of course, I would crack an egg, right? Uh, and just like you have to crack and scramble a few eggs to make an omelet, you need to mix, you know, German and French to make Luxembourgish, which, you know, wouldn't have been very interesting if we're being honest, but... Visually, it would have been very funny. So we got the eggs on low heat. All right, you're basically just gonna wanna stir the heck out of it. All right, keep stirring. You're gonna get these small curds. Can't really get a good shot of that, but you're just gonna keep stirring again. You know what, good eggs hurt your arms. That's all we're learning. All right, now here's the secret. You want your eggs to be kind of runny, okay? And now they're still somewhat runny, uh, but they're not there. We're gonna wanna take this off the heat, okay? Now. Again, what I say the secret was? Cheese, all right? Just like uh, eggs, what's the secret to a good presentation, right? Low and slow. You wanna talk, you know, slowly, right? You want people to understand you. You wanna have that rhythm. 
a lot of cheese, you need to have a lot of flavor in your speech, right? You have to have interesting diction, style. You got to change it up. You got to do a lot of different things to keep people interested. You know, if I had the time <laughs> or the knowledge, maybe some flashy video effects. Wow, zoom in. I'm not Bon Appetit Test Kitchen. I can't be doing that. Anyway, cheese. Put a good amount of cheese in the egg. Very briefly, back on the heat, stir it up. Okay, and then in your favorite, or least favorite plate, honestly doesn't really matter to me, put your eggs in. Oven off, let's be smart. Also, you know, let's be smart, let's soak this, okay? Now what do we got here? We got some ooey, gooey, nice, cheesy egg. We're gonna get a little bit of hot sauce too, okay? You gotta make it interesting, like the presentation. Well, what have I been talking about? Uh, a fork, that would be important. Honestly, you can go even more slowly, lower heat, to get them even runnier, uh, if you want, you know? Cause that, uh, it really depends. I mean, cause uh, traditionally, right, a scrambled egg here in America is pretty firm. Personally, I like it a bit runnier. Uh, I've been getting used to the you know, cookware we have here rather than in my apartment, uh, which makes it a little difficult because uh, things heat up much more quicker here, gas versus electric. So, you know, let's give it a, get, let's give it a nice little taste test. And the verdict is, hey, that's pretty good. So now, you know, obviously not every presentation is going to give you the ability to potentially come in, make a French omelet. Uh, you know, the whole point of the story is, right? I almost did it, but I didn't. What did I do to make the presentation successful? Despite not sticking to this fun idea, I just <laughs> put the work in, right? Practice, practice, practice. God, it sounds like somebody's dying out there. Much of the secret to a presentation is acting like you know what you're talking about even if you don't. Okay, how much do you think I remember about Luxembourg? Practically next to nothing other than it was in that TV show I like. You know, however, at the time, because I went through, I went through, I went through, I memorized these things. And essentially one of the best uh, ideas I've ever come across is sort of go through the presentation without any notes, just looking on your slides, because everybody knows that's how a kid gives a presentation, right? You're sitting there, you're reading off the slide. Okay, do that, figure out <clears throat> what's sticking in your mind, what are you not remembering, what are some key points you definitely want to hit. Write them out on the note card, okay? Go through again with the note card, figure out Am I still hitting stuff? Okay, what are the key points that you definitely have to hit? Okay, modify your note card based on that. Make a whole new one up to you. And sort of once you're able to get through that presentation where you don't even need to look at the card, that's perfect. Because that is essentially the authority people like to see when you give a presentation. Oh, this guy knows what he's talking about. Again, even if you don't. And if you forget a thing here or there, that's okay. People really aren't going to know. Because at the very least, you'll be taking a look at your slides. Here and there, your slides, you know, of course, are going to have a little bit of information on them. It's going to say, well, here's a key point. At the very least, you're going to be able to expand upon that based on what you remember. But, you know, even if you miss a supporting detail, again, nobody else knows because they're there to learn and because you're the presenter, right? So if you miss a supporting detail, it doesn't matter because it's not like anyone else knows it either. And content. Content is the important part. You know, we could sit here, make an analogy, you know, maybe some of the best cheesy eggs are because you have some of the best ingredients. You, know, you have that farm fresh, you know, royal chicken egg. You know, you got the uh, best salted butter on the market. You have, you know, a fine blend of multiple cheeses put together to make these mm, mamma mia delicious cheesy eggs. Honestly, you can heighten the content or the ingredients by technique, okay? Just as a low and slow makes your scrambled eggs better, like we've shown here today, just practicing, doing a couple things here and there can make even weak content better. So I hope you guys learned a bit today about uh, making some really good scrambled eggs as well as giving a good presentation. This is just an overview. We're having fun, but please, you know, like the video if you enjoyed it. Comment below. Are you going to improve your cheesy egg game after this? Are you going to give a better presentation after this? Comment your best idea you've ever had for a presentation. What's uh, that cool X factor that you did? Smash that bell, ring it, <laughs> whatever the kids say these days. If you're interested in staying up to date on uh, new videos on this channel. And thank you very much. I appreciate it, guys. And please add some music to your day. I can't wait, can't wait to see her face. I can't wait, I can't wait to see her face. I can't wait, can't wait to see her face. I can't wait.